life is an important thing if yours is the life that that's at stake. But, you know, in an abortion, it's not just the life of the woman. It's the life of a, uh, an innocent human being. Pat and Stacy, we were talking just before this segment about a real-life story. Pat, share a little bit of this story with our listeners. You bet, Gord. So last week was the March for Life where 650,000 Americans marched in the cold, in the snow, for life, put their pro-life faith in action. And during that march, they had a big jumbotron up, and they were showing the results of abortion, which, of course, is mutilated. Troubling. Very killed, troubling. Yeah, children that had been killed. My God. And a friend that I was marching with uh, saw that, and it, it really upset her. Father Frank, Frank Pavone said that America will not end abortion until it sees abortion. So it was interesting right. to see her response and her being very upset, and, and Stacy will share her response of, of being very somber and, and, and hurt by it. But in that, in that holy anger from my friend, she shared with me for the first time, I've known her for three years, that her niece died during an abortion. And you know, a lot of times you'll hear that abortion in America is safe, legal, and rare. Well, guess what? It's certainly not rare. It's none of those things. 3,500 children die a day. That's, that's safe? That's more children, <laughs> or that's more people than, than, than died on September 11th yes, or December right. 7th, 1941 right. at Pearl Harbor. Certainly not rare. Certainly not safe. Um, I just mentioned her niece died from an abortion. You know how many stories there are of ambulances leaving abortion mills, Planned Parenthood abortion mills? But the media the plays that exactly. down. Exactly. And, of course, the last one about it legal. Well, guess what? That's why Stacy and I marched, because it shouldn't be legal to kill children. Stacy, this story connected you because you, the two of you were in Washington, D.C., and you were listening to this story Tell well, our listeners. Well, the amazing part about the march, about I think it's about halfway in the march, and where, you know, you're excited to be with the crowd and you're celebrating life, but yet there's this memorializing too the all the all the women who have been hurt and men that have been hurt by abortion and the families. And and, and and I'm reflecting on this and I too saw the images. And these were H D living color. Um, children, not ch children that were murdered. Yes. And I I lost it. It's a horrible, horrible tragedy. And I think Father Pavone is right. America is not likely to end abortion until, until it, it sees abortion. sees abortion. It's just nothing more than a term like birth control. Right? Well, and the difficulty part of for me to see those images is sometimes, even if a woman's gone through the healing part, it, it, inf it still can inflict so much pain and guilt. And, and having worked with women for the last eight and a half years, and some men too, to know that they've been healed and, and, and saved and delivered from that experience, but it's still a reality that they have to deal with and it's still a reality that we have to deal with and it's not pleasurable to see those things. It, it's, it's uncomfortable and we need yeah, to get connection. uncomfortable. And I yes. liken it to some of the work I had done with um, tobacco. You know, when we started showing the effects of a lung and those things gross, I mean, disgusting the reality and and it it changed things now what because of my abortion recovery my work in the field nationally as well as locally i was very familiar and i know uh yes. his friends uh family that suffered the loss of their college age daughter who was, by the way was a christian and was raised in a christian family so and there was, was a connection and, all the way yes. across the country yeah and Earth. so that that i happened to be there when she shared this that there could be ministry and connection and and help uh, and from a place of brokenness even for me and i think for me what happened when i saw those images i'm marching i'm thinking of all the men and women that i've had the pleasure of working with i think it was my healing and releasing all that back over and to the lord that uh, mother Yes. She went on and she closed that abortion mill, Gordon. She worked tirelessly, and that abortionist Spent. went to jail. And now he will never ever be able to practice again. Never be able she to, to she has she has been proactive and following through, and of course he'll never bring her daughter back. But we can honor her efforts and continue Saving the legacy lives. and join her in the efforts to closing. Saving lives. Well, mm -hmm. you know there are some words that I just wrote down here that come to my mind. One is conviction. Mm -hmm. America needs to be convicted to 
of the tragedy. Another's condemnation. There should be no condemnation. There should be love. Mm -hmm. And uh, that comes through connection. Mm -hmm. Connection with the CareNet Pregnancy Center and other recovery centers. And then comes recovery. Yes. So pray for healing in America and an end to this horrible practice now of abortion. End abortion now.